Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave, and today we're going to continue our playthrough of Storm of Steel, the JU-87 Stuka on Eastern Front from Compass Games. Alright, so we are playing Operation Barbarossa, and we are playing the shorter version, which is 14 missions per in this first segment. The first segment is June through July 1941. And we've played 11 so far, so we're getting ready. Today's mission is mission number 12. All right, so we got to determine our mission. So we roll the three six-sided die. And we're gonna go to zone three, which isn't too bad. And we got mission number 11. Mission number, oh, it's a headquarters. First time I've had an HQ. Let's see if I have that one out here somewhere. Nope, gonna have to get it out of my. Oh, my order over here. Oh, I said that. Mission. Oh, here it is. HQ. And it is a small target. Okay. Mission number three. It's going to be the HQ. Small. Okay. So I think for this one, what I've been saying is when I have small targets, I was only going to send four aircraft. So I'm going to stick with my strategy. We may revisit it on the next segment, but I'm going to stick with it and see what happens here. So I still have Braun, who has one stress. Him and Ralphs, they're my ace pilot and ace gunner. Then I have um, Von Malapert and Hazet, Steiner and Hocktail. So we'll bring up Kluber and Fernandes for this one. They have no stress on them. We can put them up. And who else has no stress? Vlock and Sharnovsky, Schwartzel, Horner. So I think I'll do that. I'll take Steiner and um, Steiner and Hocktail off of this mission. They have one stress each, means I'm flying a smaller mission. And we'll put V-Lock and Sharnovsky into this one. And we'll let them take this mission and I can get the stress off of those guys that way. Without impacting what I'm doing. Alright. And let's see, for a small target... Um, ordnance... We could take the 1,000-pound bomb, minus two die roll modifier. Um, I can take two per mission, and I can use my SC-500s and SC-50s. So, if I take this 1,000-pounder, just now noticing why haven't I been doing that almost every turn because <laughs> they definitely give you some die roll modifiers we're going to do that uh, Braun he'll carry one and Von Malapert will carry one and my other um, one two three four I might it got five planes up you know what I'm just going to go ahead and take five it's okay um, yeah, why not? We'll take five aircraft. We're going to zone three. It'll be one, two, three, four, five. All right, let me record everybody's names and get us ready to go here. All right, get my deck shuffled. Ready to go. Okay, yep, taking our 2,000 pounders, and then the other guys are using the SC500s. 
SC50s. Okay. Filled out our log sheet. So we're taking off. We go into zone one. We pull a event card. Hawkeye, randomly select an aircraft and provide an additional minus one die roll modifier on one bombing attack run. Okay, well, the first thing I forgot to do was to set up my modifiers. So the SC500, SC5, SC50s against the small target are minus ones. So these guys here are all a minus one. And these two guys get a minus two with the thousand pounder. So they're at a minus two and a minus two. And I got to check, what does it mean to be an ace? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. And I need to see, does he get um, something um, additional for that? And they get an additional minus one on their attack roll for the ace. Okay, now, randomly pick. So I got five. We'll roll a, if I get a six, I'll have to roll again. I got a three. So one, two, three. Plane number three gets an additional minus one. So he's at minus two because he's got Hawkeye on this one. Okay, we know there won't be any fighter intercepts because or we have full cover. We go into zone two, pull our next card lead from the front inspired by the flight leader remove one cs from two flying crews okay well i don't have any of my stress from the flying crews so i don't have anybody i think i read that correctly okay and again we have now we're in zone two there could be fighter cover so we got to roll a 10-sided die and it is a three and a three is two MiG threes. Okay, now we got to roll a six-sided die to see what our fighter cover is. And we get a five. And a five, June to July, zone two, a five is minus two. Woo, got them. Okay, so chase them off. All right, now we move to zone three and let's see not draw an event card here so now we have to roll and we don't get intercepted so now we start our um, bombing run first thing we have to do is roll for target visibility so we get a two and a two is Good. So we have good visibility. All right. Now we roll for 10-sided die. And this is for the anti-aircraft fire. We get a D10, and it is a 10. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, that's bad. Heavy. Three aircraft. Okay. One thing I didn't do was take my number. Got to make sure I only have one through five in here. Oh, there's number six. He's got to come out. Yep. Oh, I thought so. Okay. Six comes out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Three of them are going to get hit with flak. <laughs> and it is heavy flak. Okay. So here we go. Plane number two. He's going to get flak. Plane number four. He's going to get hit with flak. And plane number three. Okay, two, four, and three are all going to get hit with flak. All right, now we have to do our damage roll. So we roll a ten-sided and a six-sided die. This is on plane number two. He gets a five for damage and a one. So a five is general damage and a one is no effect. All right. Well, what do you know? General damage, no effect. So on plane number two, let's see. And for aircraft repairs, engine, wing, tail. So general damage I take is no, is nothing. 
because there's no repair for engine, wing, tail, fuel, crew, landing gear. So no damage. So he survived. Plane number two, no problem. Here comes plane number four. He gets huh, a five and a one. It's the same thing. Wow. General damage, no effect. So plane number four gets out of it. Plane number three, he gets a seven. And I got a one again. How about that? Bombs. Plus one crew stress. This is on plane number three figures. Okay. Bombs. Number four. Three, four. Plus one die roll modifier for each ordnance. It didn't destroy any ordnance. So I just took stress. So my crew stress on plane number three. He just picked up some stress. Crew stress. Plane number three. Okay, so they now have one stress. One stress. All right, that's it. And they had damage. Port wing fuel system. It was to the bombs, but it did not didn't actually damage the aircraft so it just gave us stress we thought the bombs were going to go off all right here we go now it's time for us to make our attack okay so we're going to be attacking over here on the small so we'll start with Braun, and he's a minus three to his die roll modifier he gets seven minus three is a four and that is 60. He scores a 60. All right. We have Von Malapert. He's a minus two. He got a six. Minus two is a four. He scores 60. Okay. Here comes Vlock. One stress doesn't affect the bombing. Um... Takes two stress to affect his bombing. Okay, here it goes. He's a minus two. Gets a four. Minus two is a two. That's a 90. Woo, nice one. Kluber, he's a minus one. He gets a two. Minus one's a one. That's a 100. Kluber nailed it. All right, and now we have Hens. He's a minus one, four. Minus one's a three. A three is 80. So we did a pretty good job of nailing the targets on this one. Okay, that's it for the headquarters. We can take it off the board. Coming back, we come into zone two, pull our event card, and it says, Lost Camaraden. The loss of an old Camaraden weighs heavy. Randomly assign one crew stress. Okay. Well, it is five. That is hens. So they are going to take stress. They're weighing heavy on their return mission. It's got our crew stress. Okay, so that crew's got stress now. All right, now we roll for interception here in zone two. And they get a one. And a one is no contact. Okay, we get to zone one, pull our event card. And it is heard the one about. Tired but in good spirits, remove a stress from the highest stressed crew member. Okay. Well, they're both, all three of these guys are all one. So, well, it doesn't say a flying crew member. So, over in this area, auto, they would take a stress off. They still have two more stress. Over here. Okay. And there won't be any interception because we're in where we have fighter cover and so we're home. And when we get home, um, let's see, one stress does not affect the landing. And so nobody got damaged 
because it was all um, lucky hits and no hits. So we're all in. Okay. So the only thing I do now is tally up my tally up my scores, which are pretty good with 60s, 80, 100, and another 80. So or 90. I mean, yeah. So we're gonna come out pretty good. So I don't know. Taking five aircraft. Worked out pretty good for us for this small target. We really didn't have to deal with a bunch of fighter stuff going on. Okay, I'll tally this up and uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, so we scored 78 for that mission. Now, if we come over here to our board. Schneider, they move up. Um, our aircraft, we get one aircraft back. One aircraft goes to two. So one of these are now back. Ready on the line again. Um, Otto and Bode are going to be down to one stress left. Take them two off of there. And Rohr and Yohoff, Steiner and Hochtel, they're all rested now. They're ready to go. No stress on them. Alright, and I got so we've got three crews that all have one stress on them up here. Okay. And then we'll set all these back to zero again. Zero. Zero. And zero. Okay. All right. That was mission 12. We're ready for mission 13. Oh, let's see. Mission 13. Here we go. Let's see what we're going to have here. All right, mission 13, roll the three dice, we get zone five, mission seven. So, mission seven, airfield. So we're going after an airfield, it's a large target in zone five. We got a ways to go on this one. Okay, so... July 41, this is uh, airfield, large, zone 5. Now the question is, how many aircraft am I going to take? Um, this one could get stressful. That's my, that's the thing, right? Um, so maybe I rest two crews. I still got three more, so... I think um, that's what I need to do. And for an airfield for bombs, uh, it'll be, we'll take the 2,000 pounders and we'll use the SC-50s, the SC-500 and SC-50, which I have, which are only minus one for those. So, okay. All right, let me go through my pilots, figure out how many aircraft we're going to send on this mission. And then uh, I should try to send everybody that's available as far as I have aircraft. I still have four aircraft. I could put nine up. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I could leave one relieving stress. Yeah, that's what I said I'd do. Let's try it. Okay, let me get everybody set up here. All right. Shuffling up the bank cards. <clears throat> We have mission 13. We have nine aircraft going. It's after a large airfield in zone five. We got two of the thousand pounders, and everybody else has the SC 550, which is a minus one modifier. These two against a large airfield. Oh, that's a minus three. I had it down wrong, so it makes Brown a minus four and Malapert a minus three. All right. Okay. So we're all set with everybody else. So here we go. Zone one. Pull our event card. Lead from the front. Inspired by the flight leader, remove one CS from two flying crews. Well, take that off of Braun and Rouse. Got theirs off. And we're going to take, who's the next one over here? Vlock and Skarnowski. They'll take theirs off. All right, that helps. That's a good card. 
Don't have to roll for any interceptions. We move to zone two. Here we go. And we get Ace. Your Stoffel recognizes a famous Luftwaffe Ace flying in your vicinity. Remove two CS from any crew member flying in the Stoffel cat. All right. Well, that gets these guys. They're stress-free now. Okay. Well, that worked out. Now we roll for interception. And they get a one. And a one is... No contact. Okay. Go up to zone three. Here we go. Pull our next event card. First two were really good. Lost Comrade. The loss randomly assigned a stress now. And it goes on crew number five. So back on to Hans and Krieger. Okay. Now we roll for interception and they get a seven. A seven is no contact. Okay. Move up to the zone four. Pull our next event guard. Waypoint reach. The Stoffel has reached a waypoint without incident. No effect. Okay. So far, so good. Now we have intercept and it is a nine. And a nine. Whew, no contact. All right. Still no contact. We now made it to zone five. Okay. So we got to roll for any aircraft fire. Nope. We have to roll for weather first. Here's the weather roll. It is a five. And a five on the weather table is... Medium. Plus one die roll modifier. So I got to move everybody's die roll modifier up one. That makes all of these guys a zero now. Zero, 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 and a zero. Okay. So we got some little bit of rainy weather up here. All right. Now we roll for any aircraft fire. And see what it's going to be like. And it's a two. And a two is light. Only one aircraft. Everybody's in there but number 10. Okay. And it is number four. So number four has to roll for any aircraft fire damage. Black die. Here we go. Black die, white die. Okay, damage number three, and it's a four. Port wing, a four. Plus two stress. Okay, so we take a damage marker on plane number four on his port wing. And those guys pick up two stress. Two stress. And two stress means plus one bombing modifier. So he's going to be a plus one now. Okay, that's it. Now we come for our attacks. So here we come. We start with Braun. He's a minus three on his attack roll. He gets a five. Minus three makes him a two on a large target. That's 80. Oh, he scores an 80. Okay, we have Von Malapert dropping the other thousand pounder. He's a minus two. Oh, he got a one. So we know that's a hundred. He nailed the target. All right. Now we have V-Lock. He's no modifier. He gets a three. It's a good roll, though. That's 70. V-Lock scores 70. Okay. Here comes Kluber. He's a plus one. Oh, he had a one. That made him a two. He gets an 80, though. It's pretty good. Comes hens, he's no modifier. He got a two. It's another 80. Woo! The first five planes and nailed the target. Okay, here comes Roar. No modifier. He gets a three. 70. Damn. Getting the dice are liking these guys today. Here comes Schwartzel. No modifier. Five. 
5 is 50. Okay, here comes Steiner. No modifier. Oh, baby, he got a 1. That's a 100. He nailed it. Here comes Kurzow. Last pilot, no modifier. He gets a 6. And a 6 is 40. Okay. Here we go. The bombing is finished. We're going to start home. Airfield, we pretty much destroyed that airfield. Okay, we take our next event card. Storms are brewing. Place a low visibility counter on the air ops mat. Do not roll for visibility. Okay. That's a no effect. Roll for an intercept. And we get a two. Oops, sorry. And the two is no contact. Go to zone three. Pull our event. Rain. Rainy weather lowers the visibility. Okay. And we roll for contact. And it is a 10. And a 10 is one MIG. So we roll to see if we're going to have fighter cover. We rolled a 2. And this is zone 3. On 2, they would have driven off two aircraft. So they cleared them out. We move to zone 2. Pull our event. Intercept. Conduct a fighter attack on one random aircraft. Roll for damage. Disregard all other intercept steps. Okay, so one random aircraft is going to be aircraft number 10. I don't have a 10. Aircraft number 4. Okay, so aircraft 4. Roll for damage. We don't do anything else. Hope he doesn't hit his port wing, All right? Here we go. It is number six, and it is a six. Ooh. Number six, landing gear. Forced landing, number five. Aircraft crashes on zones one to six are destroyed, not damaged. Okay. Aircraft crashes are destroyed, not damaged. So one to seven, it's destroyed. CC7, survival, okay. All right, so we're gonna lose plane number four. That fighter got two to him. All right, they are at two stress. So two stress, nothing on their landing. So we're gonna roll on this table and it is a 10, which destroyed the aircraft. And we got a roll for their survival. And it is a four. They survive, but they pick up three stress. So two. That gives them a total of five stress on Kluber. We lost his aircraft. And when we lose an aircraft, we have to roll for aircraft replacement. Yes. And I got to check that real quick. It's been a little bit since I had to do that. But the crew, they didn't get killed. So I got to find out now what to do for the uh, aircraft. But I'm pretty sure we are going to roll for that replacement. Okay, here it is. Table C8. Destroyed aircraft. It gets a five, and a five is going to be five turns. Okay, so they get a destroyed. Which I think it's all just damaged. Nope, mission timer destroyed aircraft right here. So this one goes on here at turn number five. And it won't move this turn. And that's these guys here. So I'll just go ahead and take them off the board. Kluber. And Fernandes. They're going to be a while coming home. <laughs> and that plane 
is destroyed and that was Kluber so I'll indicate over here destroyed aircraft Kluber destroyed all right okay we go to zone one we pull our inner event card clear weather mark good visibility well didn't help me any they can't intercept me i'm home okay well okay we lost an aircraft so over here on this part of the board this one moves up. These guys don't. Otto and Bode get their stress cleared up. So they're ready to come back. Don't do anything with Kluber. They just went in there and he's green. Okay. So the last thing I need to do. Oops. And the new gunner, Schneider, he's up to turn three more turns now. Okay. He'll soon be available. He's going to be... Uh, green gunner going with a veteran pilot once I get him up there all right now I just need to go through tally up all the scores get the average and we'll be ready for the last mission okay we didn't have to roll for any stress they got uh or I'm sorry any landings because everybody's a veteran except the green pilot but he doesn't have any stress so he, I guess I do need to roll for him because he could get a 10 he wouldn't have a minus one. He got a six. So Kurzawa was able to land okay. No problem. No stress. Nothing else added to him. All right. And we scored 74 points on that one. So that was a big one there. That was a good, good mission there. Okay. Last mission. Mission number 14 in July of 41. And let's see what we're going to have here. I'm going to roll the three six-sided die. We got zone two. I like that already. And number two. All right. Number two is a rail. All right. So I think that's my first rail mission here. Yep. It's a small target. So we have a, oops, we have a rail. And it's in zone two. So that's going to be another quick and easy small target we're just going to take uh we'll take the five aircraft again one two three four and five down to here okay so five aircraft uh we'll move yeah we'll send the green pilot why not we'll send Kurzow and brown brawn up there and these other guys i'll take off the board I'll probably rest um, Hens and Krieger now and uh, I'll make uh, Kurzow and uh, no sense in them going. They're green. Yeah, I'll put uh, Roar. I'll bring these guys out and move these two guys up. Okay, so um, I'll do that. I got my bombs. Uh, this is a rail. It's a small. So we'll use our SC 500 and SC 50, so they're a minus one modifier. So let me get everything set up here. All right, shuffle in the deck again. Here we go. Mission 14. Off we go. All right. Let's go to zone one. Pull our event card. Lost comrade. Randomly sign a crew stress. So we got five. We'll roll one die. And it goes on. That was a six. It goes on number three. So they pick up crew stress. V-Lock and Skarnowski. Okay. Won't be any interception. We go into zone two, no interceptions, no event cards. So we roll for weather. So the weather here is a one. Good weather. So we're not gonna have any visibility problems. So here comes the flak. And the flak is, uh oh, number nine. And a nine is heavy, three aircraft. All right, so we got heavy flak. Coming up on this rail. 
must be a real car with any aircraft guns on it first guy is oh I forgot to take out all these chits hang on a minute <laughs> let me do that real quick okay I got all five of them in there now <laughs> wouldn't have known it if I'd have pulled one of them but okay aircraft number four that is roar that's the first one let's put them in order here number four yeah because this is heavy so there's three of them come on here we go number five Schwartzel and the last guy is ah Braun <laughs> shoot hoping he wouldn't get hit but he is it's the dangers of being the first plane in but here we go so now we got to roll on damage so this is for four roar he gets a number eight and a one number eight is this fuel system and it is one stress so on plane number four they pick up one stress one stress and they take damage to the fuel system okay it's plane number four okay here goes plane number five this is Schwartzel. He gets damage number one, severity number two. Add one crew stress and a two add one crew stress. So they went to two crew stress. All right. So they just picked up some stress, but no damage. All right. Now here comes Braun. He gets, oh, same thing. Crew stress and a two is going to be one more, I think. Yep, add crew stress. So they picked up two crew stress. <clears throat> okay, pilot crew stress, gunner crew stress. Okay. So the guys with two crew stress plus one to their bombing. So Braun will go up one and He'll be an even now. Okay. All right. Got through the flak. Now we go to our attack runs. Here we go. Oops. All right. Ten sided die. This is a small target. Brawn is minus two. Six minus two is a four, sixty percent. Okay, here comes Von Malapert. He's also a minus two. He got a six. Minus two is a four. Oh, I read the wrong chart. Small target, sixty. Good, it's still a sixty. Okay. Here comes V Lock. He's a minus one. He got a two. Minus one's a one. That's a 100. Way to go, V-Lock. He drops the bombs right on target. Roar. He is a minus one. He gets a six. Minus one's a five. That's a 50. And finally is Schwartzel with no modifier. Oh, he got a one. That's a hundred. Schwartzel puts it in there with all his stress. He still nails the target. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's it for the rail. We destroyed it. Come back to zone one. And we pull an event card. Angel wings. Do not roll for intercept. Thanks. Okay. We come back. All right. For landing, I think it takes more than two stress. Let's see, for, uh, yeah, three stress affects your landing. Two, one, one, and two. Okay, so nobody's going to have to roll for landing issues. All right, so we're back home. Uh, let's see, we're going to get an aircraft back from the damage table. So he gets replaced, and he goes to there. We're going to have a damaged fuel. So let's see, roar. And no, let's see, before I do that, let's take the stress off of these guys down here. So 
Kluber and Fernandes, they get rid of one stress. And Hens and Krieger get rid of their stress. So they're back up, ready to roll. All right. Okay. Now, Rohr and Nohoff, they're going to come off. Rohr and Nohoff with a uh, veteran crew. And they each have one stress there. And they have damage. And their damage is a fuel system, which is one turn. So we take one damage marker for one turn on this aircraft. We put him out. He'll be ready to go next turn. Okay. Now I'll go through, add up all my scores. We'll see where we're at. Okay, I scored a 74 on that mission. And so I got a bonus of 7 points for the campaign. Um, for the operation, I should say. I completed the operation with a total of less than 5 aircraft destroyed and less than 5 crew KIA. Alright, so I made it through that. So, tallied it all up. I ended up with, you You take each mission's score, divide it, I divide it by 14, I ended up with 56. I got lucky because those last few missions carried, carried the weight for me. And a 14 is victorious. All right, weren't triumphant, but we were victorious. So the June-July segment of Operation Barbarossa has been victorious. Okay. Um, then I have some uh, cleanup to do. Uh, looks like at the end of the month, you um, end of a two-month operational segment or operation. Add all individual mission scores. I did that. Okay. Remove crew stress counters from all crews. So these guys are all stress-free again. Coming back out of this so I can clean all of them up now. So get all my crew stress taken off. That's good. I don't have to rest anybody going into the next segment. They're all set and ready to go. I kind of like um, the strategy that I used. I didn't keep all my crews flying. Um, it might change as we go into some of these later months, but I think for where I'm at, I like that. Okay, so we did that. Let's see. Let's see when we this aircraft, one aircraft was uh, repaired. This one went to turn four. No, I guess it wasn't repaired because I've already moved it down there from turn twelve. Although that's my damaged aircraft with the fuel. Yeah, he's destroyed. Five. Yep. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Remove crew stress counters from all crews. Return to service all wounded in action crews. I don't have any um, wounded in action. Promote to all surviving crew to the next available experience level. Oh, they're all going to move up. Remove and replace all crew and KIA POW crew casualty track and repair aircraft replacement chart with the green crew. All right. So all these guys are going to switch from veterans to ace. So they're all going to be better for the next one. My green is going to become a veteran. And I'm going to get... But this uh, crew that's coming up, this gunner, is still going to be green. Okay. And then we'll be ready for segment two. And segment two in Operation Barbarossa is August to October uh, 1941. So it's actually a three month span here. And it is 10 missions long. Okay. So that's not too bad. We can play, we could try to do five missions or we can do four, three, and three. Um, for the next one. Um, sometimes these threes can go pretty fast. This one got a little long because I had that lot going on here at the end. Okay, I'm going to get everybody reset. Um, 
my aces actually move up now to elite so they're going they're getting up there now um so their brawn and rouse is going to be, be even better all these guys are going to become aces wow I, it's good that i didn't lose a bunch of pilots or have anybody um kia uh, let's see and my aircraft and aircraft repair replacement chart with green crew remove all replace all aircraft Nope, all crew and aircraft repair replacement chart with green crew. Okay, so I would say I get all my aircraft back too. Because I'm getting everybody in. So all the aircraft will be available again. All right. Okay. All right, I'll fix that. We'll be all set. Um, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we got through the first segment. Uh, victorious happy with that we'll see how it goes on the on the next one it's going to get a little tougher um in this next one the the uh, intercepts the fighter intercepts are going to get uh in august uh they don't get any more well the the number changes a little bit uh, but the fighter cover is not quite as strong but it's still pretty good here it's november december when it really changes on me um, so those last two months, so I got to survive those two months. Okay. So other than that, uh, not bad. Looking forward to uh, continuing on with this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. As always, leave me your comments and thoughts, and please give me a thumbs up for my video. Please like it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.